Welcome back to VID Machine. You're watching the Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Kaboom, Kaboom, and Super Kaboom, oh yeah. Kaboom, oh yeah, Kaboom, oh yeah. Here we go, here we go. It's a human, it's a Ulamog, it's the Boomamog. It's Ulamog, the ceaseless hunger, a new game, the spirit dragon. These cards are so powerful and historic. If you can cheat them into play, I have offended you again. So I guess this is the end Because everybody knows you're such a snowflake And you're just quite upset at every single thing we said Everybody knows it's all just in your head We said the land go and speak And you know I have crossed the line When I said that you were mine Go and ski and no hard feelings Since you will not be my girl This is the end of my own world Welcome back guys to another episode of the ID Machine with Sly Guy, Sly Guy, Sly Guy Nighttime, right time episode here at night And uh, we're going to be featuring Ugin and Ulamog Now, Ugin and Ulamog came out in Arena And... When they did, decks that could cheat them into play with cards like Emergent Ultimatum, Genesis Ultimatum, Omniscience, and of course, the very first deck to abuse it, the Tybalt's Trickery, um, what was that of her card? Hold on. I'm getting it. Ah, Froze of Chaos. So this was the combo that got him into play. Froze of Chaos and Tybalt's Trickery. So, how it works is you cast the Froze of Chaos, all cards in your deck cost more mana than this. The only card that costs less than this is Tybalt's Trickery. Now, when he hits the Trickery, the Trickery will then counter Froze of Chaos, triggering it to go through the top of your deck and you play either a huge Ugin or a huge Ulamog, wiping the opponent out. Now, if you don't get hit an Ugin or an Ulamog, you are going to hit a Genesis Ultimatum, which will play an Ugin or an Ulamog. Or if you don't hit that as well, it's going to play an Omniscience, which will allow you to play an Ugin or an Ulamog for free. So that, in a nutshell, is how the deck worked in Arena. Of course, Tybalt's Trickery is banned. So you cannot use it in modern, you cannot use it in historic. So all of those Ulamog shenanigans and Ugin shenanigans are gone. But still, these are super powerful cards. I mean, 8 mana. For his Planeswalker ability, he gets plus 2 whenever he deals 3 damage to any target creature or player. He can wipe the board of colorless permanence in play and he has the Ugin's ultimatum minus 10 loyalty you can gain seven life draw seven cards and put whatever permanence you draw into play absolute blue and think about this if you draw this it's game over he's indestructible when he attacks he mills your opponent's library ouch 10 10 super powerful attacker and he is indestructible. Good God. Ulamog is absolutely insane. These are the cards that you'd like to be getting. Now, $79 for a Bowmaster, eh, not worth it. But um, $79 for this guy, hell yeah. For this guy, oh yeah, definitely. One ring, yep, the one ring uh, is definitely worth it if you put it in the right deck. But uh, it needs setting up. You need the shoulder. Um, you need that um, artifact that um, untaps everything when you play something. You need to set it up for it to actually work. Tron will actually benefit from uh, the One Ring. Amulet Titan will benefit from the One Ring. So it's just specific decks that can. But these guys are the OG original bad boys of Arena Historic. Once again, this is the ID Machine with Sly Guy. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. Have a wonderful day.